DCU's Student Union held its first Oktoberfest last week, hosting German themed events in both the new bar and marquee over the course of three days. Events coordinator Patter Gill is pleased with the overall success of the event. Generally, as a trend over the years, events that take place over more than one night haven't been very successful, so this is probably one of the most successful of that nature event. You know, we sold out Tuesday and nearly sold out Wednesday. Monday was relatively quiet, but we knew it would be. But uh, at the end of the day, it's not about money for ticket sales or anything like that, it's about student engagement. So we still wanted to put on the third night on the Monday for people that wanted to go. And, um, but we knew it would be relatively quiet, so we are expecting that. Highlights included a traditional German brass band, drag queens, Devine Divine and Dolly Grip, and Shite Night, appropriately renamed Scheiser Night. Tickets dropped from 5 to 2 euro on the final night of the festival. However, this is pre-planned by the SU in order to boost morale and keep the incentive going. We talked to DC students to find out if they went and what they thought of it. Yeah, it was good. The Monday night, I didn't go to Tuesday, I went to Monday night. Um, there wasn't that big of a crowd. I would have expect, I, I hoped for a lot more of a crowd. But then like the band kind of just got everyone going and even though there was a small crowd, we kind of made it our own and we had a bit of crack. Well, I was there last night and it was actually great. Um, went out with a few buddies of mine and we sort of chilled in the marquee where there was a lovely brass band playing. It was just, it was mad dancing to that sort of music. It's a bit different to the modern stuff. So it was pretty fantastic. None of my friends went and I just didn't really have much of an interest going. and. I didn't think, like, I didn't hear too much about it. The drag queens were a bit weird, but it was funny. Like, it was something I'd never seen in DCU before, so. I'm Amy Lawler for DCU TV News.